Udu Website Builder Review, Features, Walkthrough, and Everything You Need to Know. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with the Udu Website Builder, what are some of its amazing features, and how you can get started. So let's jump right in. The first thing you're going to do is head on over to Udu over here, and then on the top you can click on Apps and then click on their Website Builder. Once you click on their website builder, you can create your professional website within minutes. Simply click on start now, it's free. And once you've done that, you can begin your trial on Udu. Click on start now over here. But first we're going to type in the name we want to use for our website. So let's say it's going to be called Spencer. And then I'm just gonna click on start now. And once I've done that, we will have our Udu trial and we can proceed with building our website. So in a couple of seconds, we will be led to our next page, which is going to be to build our website. So once we have completed our sign up, it's going to ask us to skip. We can either skip this basic onboarding or we can configure our website. So I like to configure it and you're going to define what type of website you're looking to create. So I want to create a online store. And you can choose for what type of business. So this is going to be a clothing business and this is going to be a clothing store business. And the main objective is to sell more. Once you do that, you can either choose a color palette or have the Udu website builder detect your color palette from your logo. So if you have a logo, you can choose to detect the color palette from there as well. Now for us, I'm just gonna be using this particular color palette because I just think it's nice. And we can add different features and pages. Now in your features and pages, you can include things like pricings, privacy policies, careers, live forms, success stories, e-learning, appointments, and more. However, for an e-commerce store, I only will be using the shop feature. Then click on build my website on the bottom right to proceed with the next step of the Udu website builder. Now, in this step, you have to choose your theme. So you can choose how you want your basic layout to be. Udu will provide you with three basic styles and you can click on view more themes over here to view some of the other available themes. Udu does recommend what it thinks is going to fit the best with your website, but you can also explore some of the other themes that are available. Now, I personally really like this particular style. It's visually very heavy and interesting. So I'm gonna click on this and now our website is being created. So so it basically generates a outline for your website and you can begin with customizations and choose your own customizations. And we're just going to wait for our theme or our theme design to be applied so we can move on towards our next step, which is going to be to actually customize this theme to make it our own. Now, once you've done that, we can see this is what our basic layout looks like and we can click on edit on the top right to begin editing this layout. In your layout, you can customize individual blocks as well as add your own logos and add your own basic content blocks. So for the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the top right where we have our logo and I'm just gonna double click on this. And then I'm gonna click on upload an image. I am going to go into my own images and we're going to upload a image of our logo. Now our logo has been applied. Now on the right, you will see whether you want backgrounds, whether you want borders, round corners in this particular element, and you have complete detailed customization blocks. So once we have that, we have our basic navigation pane. And in this navigation pane, we have our home, shop, and then our contact us button. Then we have our phone number, which I don't want listed here, so I'm just gonna delete that. Then we have all of this, which I also don't think is necessary. The contact us button is not relevant to like the top section. I don't wanna include that in our basic header. So I'm just gonna select this block and we're going to discard it. Oh, cancel, not discard the edits. We're gonna click on the button and then delete the button completely. And again, we have this login section, which we don't need. So we can also remove this from here. And once we do that, we can see, I'm just going to save our changes for now. And this is now customized a little, but I still want further edit. So I'm going to click on edit. Now over here in our collection section, we can click on the image to choose the images we want. Once you click on your image, you will see on the right, you have your text cover layout as well as images and elements. And in this, you can click on replace to replace the pre-existing images and click on upload an image. From there, you can upload your own store images 
and select them to be added instead. Now, if you want, you can also choose the background, position, filters, formats, and quality that you want. You can also apply animation so you have a nice changing image as well. Now over here, I'm going to change the text simply by selecting it and entering my own. Enter a era of elegance. And then I'm going to change the tagline as well. The silhouettes of royals, let's say. And then I'm going to correct my spellings, which for some reason I can't find. Then below that, we have a discover it. So I'm going to change that to shop now instead, because I don't want a discover button. I want a shop now button. And I'm just going to click on this. And on the right, we're going to add shop now. Then we're going to click on the link that it's going to be um, leading people to. So you guys can see if I click on the button, it actually leads to a different page than the one I want it to lead to. It's going to lead to our discover page, which I'm going to click on the right over here. And once you click on the link, you can enter the link you want. Now below that, you have individual images. Your template might differ. You have individual blocks. And you can click on delete if you don't want a certain section, or you can just click on it to customize it. So we can click on these icons, which I don't like. So I can just click on these. And we can choose to just double click this. And we can edit the pictogram. Or we can simply click on replace on the right to add a different one. We can also just uh, click on delete to delete the icon like this. So I'm going to click on delete, click on delete on the right. And then if you want to delete a column, let's say I only want two columns. So I can just click on delete on this column and the column would be deleted. Now, if I want to expand my other two, I can just expand them like so. So they fit nicely and you can, you know, move around and play around with the formations of everything, how you personally would prefer it. And this is why I love using the Udo website builder. It's a simple drag and drop interface with high customizations, because this is one thing you usually don't find in other tools is that they are very easy to use, but they don't have the level of customizations that Udo does provide you with. So it's definitely a pro in my book. Once you've completed everything, you can just click on save on the top right and your website will be saved. Now, from the back end of your website, you can manage things like your appointments, your products, and you can optimize the SEO further. You can click on e-commerce on the top right to add your products and add your orders, band and cards. You can view all of that from there, as well as manage your product categorization via tags and ribbons. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or queries, you can leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.